हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 88 व्हाट्सएप सीम्स टू हैव एक्सटेंडेड इट्स प्राइवेसी पॉलिसी एक्सेप्टेंस डेट इन सेलेक्ट रीजन्स टिल जून 19 2021 द फेसबुक ऑन मैसेजिंग सर्विस हैड गिवन मे 15th एज अ डेडलाइन फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग द अपडेटेड प्राइवेसी पॉलिसी बट डिड नॉट टेक एनी एक्शन फॉर पीपल हु डिड नॉट एक्सेप्ट द टर्म्स Battle Grounds Mobile India will feature the Arangal map. A teaser image shows a picture that mentions Arangal and features the familiar water tank. Battle Grounds Mobile India launch is expected in mid June. A hacker has leaked customer data of Domino's a pizza restaurant chain according to information shared by a cyber security expert. The company has acknowledged the data breach but said the customer's financial information was not exposed because of it. As per the cyber security researcher Rajeshekar Rajaria, people who have access to portal developed by the hacker are using it to spy on customers by checking their location along with their order date and time. Data of 18 crore orders of Domino's India have been public. Hacker created a search engine on dark web. If you ever order dominos india online your data might be leaked data include email name mobile gps location and etc Infinix the premium smartphone brand from Transcend Group on Monday announced a 60 day warranty extension for its users in India. The warranty extension will apply to smartphones whose warranties are expiring between April 15th and June 15th. To apply for the warranty extension, eligible customer will need to register themselves on the pre-installed Carl Care mobile application before June 30, 2021. Infinix recently launched the Infinix Note 10 and Infinix Note 10 Pro smartphones globally a few days back. Both the Infinix Note 10 and Note 10 Pro sports a 6.95 inch Full HD Plus display and it is powered by MediaTek chipset. The company is planning to launch these two new devices in India in June. Netflix is reportedly looking to expand into the gaming industry. The company is looking to hire veteran gaming industry executives. The company has not confirmed plans but want to do more with the interactive entertainment. OnePlus has announced previously has finally introduced a new smart TV the OnePlus TV 40Y1 in India. It comes in addition to the 32 inch and a 43 inch Y1 smart TVs that are already available. OnePlus TV 40Y1 sport a 40 inch LED backlight LCD panel with a resolution of 1920 into 1080 pixels. It comes with a 93% screen to body ratio. The TV features a plastic build and it can either placed on a table or wall mounted. Unlike the stand that comes in the box the wall mounted is sold separately. The Television is powered by an unknown 48-bit chipset coupled with 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal storage. It runs on Android 10 9.2 Pi operating system with Oxygen Play content with an aggregation service. OnePlus TV 40Y1 is priced at rupees 23,999 Indian rupees in India. However, the television will be selling at a discount price tag of 21,999 during the first sale on Flipkart May 26, 12 p.m. It is also available on the OnePlus online store. Oppo has just announced that it would be launching its own exclusive home delivery service in India. This delivery service will be centered around shopping its own electronic products across the country. As per the announcement earlier today, the Chinese tech giant is launching home deliveries in an effort to making the shopping experience easy amid the lockdowns caused by the recent second wave of COVID-19. For those interested, you sir can text on WhatsApp application to place an offer for Oppo products. This service is now open and one can send a text to the number in the given and screen and simply stating their state along with the pin code following this they will have a call back from the nearest to retail stores Earlier today Oppo announced that it will be partnering up to with Neo complete the joint development and testing of the standard digital car keys which are based on CCC 2.0 This digital car keys will be compatible and work with the wallet app on smartphones and even smartwatches from the Chinese tech giant The company also announced that it will be working with a number of automobile manufacturer and tire one suppliers as well as offer broader support that includes multiple car brands from across the globe in the future Xiaomi has just announced that it would be launching a new smart TV at the beginning of next month. This is the MI TV 4A 40 Horizon edition which will be launched on 1st June 2021. Xiaomi sub brand Redmi will introduce the new Redmi Note 10 series smartphone on May 26. The company has not revealed how many phones it will unveil on Wednesday, but it has been dripping feeding us the information about the new Note 10 devices since last week. A few days ago, Redmi revealed the design of one of the Note 10 series smartphone while also confirming a few of its specifications. Now the Chinese phone maker has announced that the Note 10 series will pack a 120 Hz LCD screen which will have a punch hole in the center for the selfie camera. 
A piece of cheering news coming from Chinese smartphone manufacturer Xiaomi is that it had sold over 3 million units of just three products in its MI lineup of smartphones globally. Or for the first four months of the year, January to April 2021, the company didn't disclose how many units of each of these three models were sold. Poco has become the fastest growing smartphone brand in India. The company saw a year-on-year -year growth of a whopping 300% in the first quarter of this year as per the new report. Realme was supposed to unveil the X7 Max 5G in India on May 4th, but the announcement was postponed due to the second COVID-19 wave in the country. However, with the situation getting better, Realme has decided to introduce X7 Max 5G in India on May 31st. Red Magic, the company is known for making gaming smartphones, has now officially teased a new upcoming device on Vivo. Tencent Red Magic 6R, along with that, the brand has also revealed some details related to the phone. The teaser also revealed that the smartphone will feature a 400Hz dual touching gaming shoulder button, which is specifically designed for games. Prior to this, the company had confirmed that the phone will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor. Coolpad as a new mid-range phone is going to launch today. The phone will arrive as a Cool 20 and just a few days before the launch. The manufacturer has decided to reveal some of its key specifications and features. The Cool 20 will have a MediaTek Helio G80 processor and we can also see that it will have a Mali G52 MP2 GPU. There will be a 128 GB of storage on board with the support of storage expansion up to 256 GB max. Coolpad says that it uses a ROPS file system developed by Hawaii that allows for more space and it also be faster than F2 FS format. This phone is going to come with a 48 megapixel dual cameras and we can also see a front facing camera of about 13 megapixel sensor. And it will have a 90 hertz display screen and we can also see that it is going to come with a 4500 mAh battery. Leading drone maker DJI has launched the Robomaster Tello Talent drone as its latest drone for the DJI Education Division. Robomaster Tello Talent offers more powerful features than its predecessor. Robomaster Tello EDU it also arrives with additional functionality absent in the Tello EDU. A new extension board and a greater artificial intelligence application make the device a very powerful educational source. Hawaii sub-brand Honor is all set to launch a new smartphone in the global market. As we are talking about the highly speculated Honor 50 series, recently the company has confirmed that the handset will be powered by the newly launched Snapdragon 778G processor. In the latest development, Honor has confirmed that the upcoming smartphone series is going to ship with Google mobile services. The company has confirmed the news on its official Twitter handle. IQ seems to be gearing up the launch of its Z series smartphone in India soon. There are already numerous rumors about the upcoming IQ Z series. However, there is no concrete information about the upcoming smartphones in the Z series which are going to launch in India. In the previous leak, it has been reported that the company might launch the IQ Z3 5G smartphone in India. In the latest development today, a popular tipster Mukul Sharma has confirmed that handset will launch in India in mid-June. Microsoft is set to hold its Build 2021 event starting from May 25th and will go on till May 27th. This will be an all-virtual event due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Interested users can stream the event live on YouTube and the company's official website. At the event, the company is expected to showcase multiple new features for its Windows operating system and for other consumer products. No oximeter, don't worry, this app will help you track blood oxygen levels with phone flashlight. The company website notes that new Careplex Vitals user may face problems. It's been a few years since Apple launched an updated iPod Touch, but it seems that the company would be launching a newly refreshed version of the device pretty soon. As per the reports, Apple is planning to release the next generation model of the iPod Touch. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.